In this tutorial, we're going to show you how you can run Olama API open to the world just in a few seconds without installing web server like Nginx, like Python, Ubiquorn, or anything else except using Olama library. Unlike the recent tutorial we just shared when you're using Python and Ubiquorn in order to run API or Olama as API. So stay tuned, we're about to start. Feel free to follow for more embedding tutorial. So if you watch our recent tutorial about how to run Olama API, you need to have already AWS service or server with Olama already installed. And if you don't know how to do it, you have also the installation instruction on the right side of the screen, so you can go and install it right now. And basically what you want to do, you want to be in the point where you have the AWS Ubuntu server with Olama installed. And when you're doing a call request like this one, it will give you answer from your local Olama machine, as you can see right now on the screen. So this is the position that you want to be in order to have a Olama API next. So once you are here and everything is okay, we're going to show you today how you can quickly launch your own AI without installing Python, without installing Fast API, only using the Olama library. So right now, what we're doing on the screen, as you can see, when we try to do a call request from the local server, it's working. But when we're going to try to do a call request from my local computer, it's not going to work. Basically, Olama API is blocking me from making requests to this specific port. So there is one command that you can do in order to open the API for all environments. So first of all, you need to stop the Olama service. Okay, just typing this uh, bash command. Okay, perfect. Once you're doing this, you need to do expo to environment variable. This environment variable is Olama host. Here, you're choosing 0, 0, 0, 0. And you can also control the port. Okay, this time the port is 8000 instead of 11434. And once we're doing this, basically we're telling Olama, next time you are launching, uh, with Olama serve, use this um, IP or local host with this specific port. So now we launch Olama serve and you can immediately see it's running on 0 .0 0.0.0.0. Next thing that we want to do, we want to download again the Llama 3.2 for this specific host environment. Okay. Otherwise, it's not going to work. I know you already downloaded it, but because we changed the environment, we need to download the uh, LLM again or any other LLM uh, that you want. And now when I'm going to make the request this time, I'm going to also, you can have also the option to control the port. It does not have to be the default one, 11434. It can be also 8000 like we just did. And this time, what will happen? Let's wait a few seconds. And bam, it's working without installing any Python library, without launching Fast API with Ubicorn or Nginx or any other thing. You already have API open for you with the Olama library. And this is how you can do it very easy, very fast in just a few seconds. And you just need to make sure the security group that the port is open for this request, for this specific uh, core request. And that is basically. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and follow to the rest of the video. Please like, subscribe and leave comment below and keep following because I'm gonna release more and more amazing videos about AI, about AWS, about DevOps, about a lot of interesting stuff. Thank you so much.